session we will be learning about the inventory turnover ratio so inventory turnover ratio is one of the activity ratio so let's understand what is a activity ratio first activity ratios are also called as turnover ratios or performance ratios these ratios are employed to evaluate the efficiency with which the firm manages and utilizes its asset okay so these ratios usually indicate frequency of sales with respect to the asset the asset may be anything it may be a capital asset working capital or average inventory okay so these ratios are usually calculated with reference to sale or cost of goods sold and are expressed in terms of rate or times okay now let's see what is a inventory turnover ratio okay inventory turnover ratio or a stock turnover ratio it establishes the relationship between the cost of goods sold during the year and average inventory held during the year so your inventory turnover ratio okay is equal to sales upon average inventory okay now here inventory means inventory stock of finished goods okay so your finished goods is sales upon average inventory so average inventory is equal to opening stock of finished goods plus closing stock of finished goods divided by 2 okay so this is how you calculate your inventory turnover ratio and which is related to your stock of finished goods okay now the next ratio in case of inventory turnover ratio is raw material turnover ratio okay raw material turnover ratio is raw material consumed upon average raw material stock again average raw material stock is opening stock of raw material plus closing stock of raw material divided by 2 okay now in case of inventory ratio turnover ratio instead of sales many a times cost of sales is considered okay since the average inventory or average stock of finished good doesn't have a profit margin instead of sale cost of good sales or cost of goods sold is considered okay the value at which your closing stock and opening stock of finished goods is valued the same value is considered in the numerator so instead of sales the cost of sales upon average stock this formula is also used okay so let's see one example and calculate inventory turnover ratio so dak limited gives you the following information particulars amount sales 75% on credit purchases is 80% on credit okay cost of production material consumed wages and salaries for production manufacturing expenses 12 lakh 8 lakh and 4 lakh respectively finished goods opening stock is 2 lakh completed during the year 10000 units sold during the year 9000 units of the goods finished during the year and 90% of the opening stock okay opening stock of raw material is given 4 lakh closing stock of raw material is given as 2 lakh 50000 we need to find inventory turnover ratio for finished good and for raw materials okay so now before finding out inventory turnover ratio now here we'll be using cost of goods sold instead of sales for inventory turnover ratio okay so inventory turnover ratio is equal to cost of goods sold upon average 
finished goods okay now we for cost of goods sold we have given cost of production and we have given what is the value of opening stock okay so we need to find out what is the value of closing stock okay and what we need to find out we need to find out cost of goods sold okay so let's find out what is the cost of goods sold and closing stock of finished goods first so let's see what is the cost of production cost of production okay so cost of production is given here what is the cost of production material consumed is 12 lakh plus 8 lakh wages and salaries for production plus manufacturing expenses 4 lakh so how much is that 12 lakh plus 8 lakh plus 4 lakh so how much does that it come to 24 lakhs okay now we need to find out what is the cost of goods sold okay so cost of goods sold is your opening stock plus cost of production minus closing stock okay so we know what is the opening stock 2 lakh we know cost of production now we need to find out what is the closing stock okay so closing stock is equal to closing stock of finished good is equal to let's see what is the information that is given okay so completed uh, during the year is 10,000 unit out of which 9,000 units are sold and 90% of opening stock is being sold so it is 10% of your opening stock okay so out of opening stock 10% plus out of your goods produced during the year 10% right 10,000 units were completed and 9,000 were sold so out of goods produced or say current production 10% so that comes to 10% of what is the amount of opening stock 10% of 2 lakhs plus out of current production it is 10% that is our 10% of 24 lakh so 20,000 plus 2 lakh 40,000 so that comes to 26 2 lakh 60,000 okay now let's find out what is your cost of goods sold is equal to your opening stock that is 2 lakhs plus cost of production that is 24 lakhs minus closing stock that is 2 lakh 60,000 so it comes to 23 lakh 40,000 that is cost of goods sold okay now we will find out inventory turnover ratio is equal to your cost of goods sold upon average finished goods so that comes to cost of goods sold is how much 23 lakh 40 thousand divided by average finished goods it is how much 2 lakhs is opening stock plus closing stock 2 lakh 60 thousand divided by 2 so that comes to so this comes to 10.17 
okay so that means your inventory turnover ratio is 10 points 17 so your cost of goods sold okay is equal to 10.17 of your average finished goods okay so it is a high inventory turnover ratio that means we are efficiently utilizing our inventory now we'll calculate raw materials turnover ratio is equal to your raw material consumed upon average stock of raw material okay so that means your raw material consumed what is the amount of your raw material consumed raw material consumed is 12 lakh okay so 12 lakh divided by what is the average stock of raw material average stock of raw material is opening raw material plus closing raw material divided by 2 that is 4 lakh plus 2 lakh 50 divided by 2 so 4 lakh plus 2 lakh 50 divided by 2 okay so this comes to 12 lakh divided by 6 lakh 50 divided by 2 so that comes to twelve lakh divided by three lakh twenty five thousand so that comes to how much let's see nine three point six nine okay so that means your raw material consume average stock of raw material okay that is turn turnover of average stock of raw material is thrice thrice 3.69 times in a year okay since raw material consumed is given for the year so this is a average turnover of raw materials and your finished good so that was uh, this was all about inventory turnover ratio so we calculate average inventory in this case okay because the inventory keeps on changing on daily basis so to have a realistic approach we are calculating average inventory instead of closing stock of inventories for inventory turnover ratio thank you